Well, if a religious service is part of your Christmas Eve tradition, they are back in person this year with some modifications as we still deal with COVID. Channel 2's Ron Plant's got a look at preparations for some services, some taking place this afternoon. Volunteers were busy with final decorations this morning to make sure Our Lady of Perpetual Help Catholic Church in Buffalo's Old First Ward will take on a special glow for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day services, one already held this afternoon and then another at midnight. And amidst the decorations, the now ubiquitous sanitizer and boxes of masks. We've been given probably a thousand masks that have been donated to us. So there's really no reason anybody should be able to have to come in without a mask on. They're available at the doors of the church. But most people now, as I said, almost everyone comes in with a mask. Fortunately, unlike the somewhat darker days of 2020, services can now be held in person, even with spaced out presence in the pews for the parishioners. However, the online option, of course, still exists. There's a lot of opportunities, live streaming, television masses. It's not the same as getting together, but it's it's some kind of a substitute if there's a certain fear factor or if you're sick right now. It's a similar scenario at Trinity Episcopal Church on Delaware in downtown Buffalo, which held its afternoon only service that will be available online with Christmas music filling the beautiful and historic church sanctuary. And it's now widely accepted with a pandemic even as in-person services were restored. We were online only through the end of May in this past year, 2021. We didn't have an in-person service in church until June. And at that point, we kept live streaming services also. So we've been an online community caring for this amazing, historic, beautiful building while we weren't using it for all that time. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Ron, thank you.